what's up? Today I want to share my personal experience with you on living together with a Korean family. In case you didn't know, I'm living together with my Korean boyfriend and his family in Germany. And we're already living together for like two years now. And I thought to myself, why not tell you about some situations I have experienced so far. I've never been to a Korean household before, so my boyfriend was first Korean I ever knew and I was very nervous of course uh, because I didn't know anything about Korean culture or Korean stuff at all I didn't know anything about Korean food I didn't know anything about uh, behavior how you should behave in front of the parents or stuff like that so I was just clueless so when I first visited my boyfriend and his family, I still remember one mistake I made. As a German girl with my German mindset, I came here and I was thinking like, uh, okay, you're a guest. You don't want to disturb anyone. They don't know you yet and of course they don't want you to be in their kitchen or in the living room because it's their space, it's their private space. What I did was staying in my boyfriend's room all the time because of course I didn't want to be impolite and in fact they thought I was being impolite because I hide all the time in the room upstairs and yeah as soon as I started to help them and was bringing myself more into the family um, yeah they started to like me so I basically just wanted to be polite and don't bother anyone but I reached the complete opposite and they weren't happy with that at all but now I know better another thing when I first entered the house uh, I was like hmm what is that smell and at first I didn't want to tell my boyfriend about it I was just like okay okay that's a normal smell <laughs> just ignore that but after a few hours I asked him what this smell is coming from and he told me that this smell comes from the kimchi uh, which is stored all over the place and I've never seen something like this before because here in Germany we usually don't store our food in huge barrels and I walked around the kitchen and found even more barrels uh, with stuff in it I couldn't identify at all I don't know if every Korean family stores their food in like huge amounts definitely tell me in the comments down below in Germany we more likely prepare as much food as we're able to eat at once and if there are any leftovers uh, we just keep them in the fridge till the next day and then we eat it and yeah that's it and by the way as soon as I found out about kimchi it became my new midnight snack another difference I noticed is of course the hierarchy because in German families there basically is no hierarchy everyone should be getting the same amount of respect so a huge difference is of course that you respect elders much much more than in Germany and I don't think it's a bad thing at all because I think um, kids grow up to be way more humble this way so I think it's a pretty good way to raise your kids and to teach them respect of course as long as it's not too strict or there are too many rules and no freedom and now we're coming to the very top of the hierarchy of course that's harmony it's the grandma of the family and everything she says is law. I'm really really lucky because our harmony is so nice and she is such a good person and I love to live with her. I bet there are also harmonies out there who are not that nice, right? Also, if you're sitting on a table with harmony um, and you're eating your food, you think, oh, everything's okay. Harmony just sits there staring at you like, you need to eat more child because your body obviously just needs the third bowl of rice and another plate of chicken to survive because otherwise you will starve but I think that's a thing all grandmas of all countries have in common it must be the feeder gene or something like this yeah guys I think that's it and I think that were the most memorable experiences I made with my Korean family and Korean things 
in general. Definitely leave a comment if you can relate to this, if you have, for example, a Korean boyfriend or girlfriend and you met their family and you have also special funny moments you remember. And all my Korean viewers, definitely leave some comments about what it's like in your family, if there are any similarities you can relate to. Okay guys, I'm looking forward to read your comments and of course if you want to see more videos, subscribe and if you like the video, give it a thumb up and I see you guys in the next video. Bye!